better life. All right, we are talking about a group. Hillsong United started out as a group of friends, yep. right? Look what they turned into. It started out as a group of friends in Australia. They've mm -hmm. sold over 20 million that albums. Is... 50 million people sing their songs oh. on Sundays, wow. including here at some churches in Arizona, mm -hmm. some Hillsong churches here. They call themselves the most popular band you've never heard of. And I had a chance to sit down. There's a documentary about them put on by a company based in Scottsdale, Pure Flix. I don't know why God has used a little youth band from a church in the outer suburbs of Sydney, but for some reason, he's given us this opportunity. Was it strange to have camera crews following you and, and doing it this way? Yeah, it was very odd. Like, we were trying to make an album at the same time, and then all of a sudden some film crew ro rolled in, and we're like, what is this? What's going on? So it was, it was pretty intense. Were there ever moments where you actually didn't want the cameras on? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you're having, like, a real kind of heart-to-heart, -heart, yeah, you, and it's like a, a, a camera starts going to be like, don't look at it, act normal, act normal. You know, the fun thing was, though, it was like, uh, every single time that happened, and we're like, ugh, we're just like, can we stop? Can you just go in the other room? Because we're actually trying to do something here. Now, I know you don't want to be rock stars, but what is the most rock starry thing that, that you guys did or have? Uh, I recently bought a car, but I feel like that's very <laughs> old. Was it like a Bieber Lambo? No, it's like a really small Toyota, but it's so lovely. <laughs> I bought a Kia, if that. <laughs> I had to go to a wedding once and uh, and I was going to miss the first tour date and uh, our tour manager got in trouble so he booked a helicopter from an airport to so I got to I flew in and then I drove across the tarmac with a policeman and I got in a helicopter and I flew to the the hospital across the road from the venue and then that's the most rock star thing that's ever happened to me. That's pretty, uh, yeah, I, I can't top that. I know you guys aren't actors, but did anybody, knowing that there are now camera crews following you around and this is going to be a movie, did anyone kind of up it a notch? Was anybody, like, acting a little different? You did? Absolutely <laughs> not. Where you can kind of tell, okay, they would not be, they wouldn't be this, you know, vibrant. Uh, he would tell you that he didn't, but if you ask anybody, any of our crew, they would say that he upped there, his game a little bit. Have you seen the finished product? Have you watched the movie? Yeah, we've seen it. So is there any truth to that at all? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> you can't really avoid the celebrity culture, and in this day and age, you get a Bieber showing up at one of your shows. It's going to make news. How do you balance staying normal with the fact that now people want to know about you guys personally and who you're hanging with and all that stuff? Well, We've always said love God, love people, and everyone, we believe everyone needs Jesus, and we're no different, and from the faceless to the famous, we're literally just ordinary Australians that just, by the grace of God, we got to be a part of a film, Let Hope Rise, and hopefully that the, me the message of that film that um, if God could do something like that in our lives, that he could do it definitely in yours, because we're very normal again. Yeah. <laughs> In theaters next week? In theaters next week, their music is excellent. It's really good. It's funny. I actually was at the screening with Taya's mother, mm -hmm. who spent the entire time trying to convince me that really she's no big deal. <laughs> like, she's just a girl, my daughter. Hey, by the way, I cannot wait to see Sully this weekend. I saw it. And? It's good. And I as a pilot, you're so, you're, I yeah. think you'll really I like it. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's good. Uh, you're headed to the Toronto Film Festival yeah. today, huh? We're heading there today. It's it's one of the biggies, and there are a lot of films that they're previewing. Magnificent Seven with uh, Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt opening the whole thing, and I'll be sitting down with the cast tomorrow. Nice. You know, you ought to go home every once in a while. I know. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. I went to the Toronto Film Festival once, and then I showed up and had no credentials.